Hey everybody, it's Julie. Thanks for joining me here on my channel. I'm going to be doing some Bible journaling today using the Kelly Banks Creative Set Project Grateful for April, which she designed for Illustrative Faith. I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've already done with that kit. So Project Grateful is a project where um, every day you give thanks, you show gratitude for three things. It started back in November of uh, Thanksgiving season, the month of November back in uh, 2019, no, 2020. Then it was uh, brought back last November in 2021 in November. But now the idea is for it to continue every month. So um, Kelly puts out new kits every month that are all designed with, for Project Grateful. And this was the spread, the layout that I did in my Project Grateful journal that I am using. Uh, I'm just jumping on board here, so I'm just getting started with this. And this is my journal where I do my uh, three things that I'm grateful for. So here on the front, I just kind of made a layout. Each month, there is a new card. So I will link the overall Project Grateful kit that has a new card for each month, a front and a back, and it's got just a little devotional, something to focus you on to get you um, thinking about gratefulness for that month. And then I chose the verse Philippians 4, 6, and 7, because this month it was about how gratitude gratitude changes our perspective. This is the verse I'm going to be journaling um, today, Philippians 4, 6, and 7, which says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. So it says there, praying with thanksgiving. And then the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So it's saying, don't be anxious. Give it to Jesus with gratefulness, and then you will be overcome by peace. And it's a peace which surpasses all understanding. And that peace will actually guard our hearts from anxiety and depression. When we have a, an attitude of gratitude, Gratitude changes our perspective. So I'm gonna be focusing on that today. So here is just, um, every day I put the three numbers and it has lots of numbers in this kit. And I write down three things that I'm grateful for. And yes, I have gratefulness and thankfulness in my prayer time, but these are some specific random things. Like this particular day, I was thankful for my pink typewriter, for my pink, futon couch and my pink prayer chair. Little things that I wouldn't normally pray for in um, in my normal prayer time, but it's this is a place where I can write it out and I can say why I'm thankful for it, and it just really helps me to come back and look at how God has blessed. So um, I'll just continue. I kind of did one creative element and then the numbers and then dated it. So that's what I'm working through this month. Now, I don't take the time every single morning to write out my entire entries like this. Um, sometimes it'll be at nighttime. It might even be the next day. But here is what I do to keep me on track. Let me get there. So I, this um, month I'm taking, I take my monthly planner spread and I decorate it a little bit with the elements from the kit. And then I list three things, the three things that I'm thankful for. And then I can go back and I could expound upon them here in this journal. So these are the things, for example, where I said, my pink typewriter, here it is, my pink couch and my pink chair. So every day I just jot those down and then I can come back and write more about it in my journal. So that is what I did using my monthly spread. I'm also using the kit for my daily scripture writing. So I cut out some of the elements and they are just so pretty. They're all springy. 
And then I'm using these different elements to do my scripture writing. I write my scripture of the day, my verse of the day, come up with a focus word, and I write that on this little element. So I keep the rest of these tabbed here for the rest of the week so that it will, when I'm done, it's gonna look like this, but I'll have the other verses written in and my notes. So it's a fun way, it's an easy way to have something pretty, to do your scripture writing, to have a focus word. And um, for me, making it pretty just, uh, God gave me that sense of creativity and that appreciation for color and vibrancy and for all things pretty. So I know that when I worship him creatively through these elements, that he um, blesses that worship time. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna be using, I think, some of these flowers because I'm just in love with these flowers. And I'm gonna be journaling in my Interleaf Bible right here in Philippians. And I'm gonna put you on fast forward and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start by applying some color to the background of my page. I'm going to do some smushing. It's a simple, easy, but striking process. It's very effective. So you take those markers. These are some Tombow dual brush markers and I pulled out the pink, orange, and yellow from the Brights palette. And you just color it onto the packaging, wet that, um, move the ink around on your package a little bit and then smush it. Now I've gone ahead, I did dry in between layers and you can see that I applied all three layers in the pink, yellow, and orange. But this is a little bit too bright for what I want, so I'm toning it down with some white acrylic paint. I'm wiping that on with a wet baby wipe. That allows me to have a lot of control and to apply a very thin layer. Baby wipes, who knew that they could be so useful? So I'm just applying that and then I do dry. So now I'm going to, before I apply my elements and adhere them down that I have chosen, I'm going to add a little bit of black splatter paint with some black watercolor, wet it, pick it up with a thin brush, and then just gently spritz that. And I'm going to do some stamping. I'm going to stamp my title. And this particular alphabet is called a Mini Grunge, and it's from Sweet and Sassy Stamps. It's a good size, very basic functional um, alphabet set. So now I'm taking a little bit of trim that I took off from a doily and I'm going to apply that to the edges. This is going, going to be kind of my anchor for my elements. And I'm just uh, taping that down with my tape runner. And then I'm pulling out all the elements that I have cut out and I've arranged them. Now, I've got some white string that I'm going to use for some texture elements. It's going to um, be under my elements, kind of nested, and also now I have these three little labels, and I'm attaching it. I punched a hole with a, oh, maybe it was a one-eighth inch? I think it was even smaller than that, the very smallest hole punch, and I am, I attached the string to it. Now I'm going to attach these elements to the front of my flowers. And I'm using the one, two, and three. These are the same numbers that you can use to um, document the three things that you are happy for, that, that I'm sorry, that you're grateful for. So I just picked out some pretty ones because in this set you get all kinds of numbers. So I picked out three of them and just attached them. And now I'm applying that string the way you do it, uh, or the way I do it, I just put a little bit of the tape runner down to anchor it, and then I use that string and just kind of uh, squish it, swirl it, nest it, and um, make it random. You don't want it too precise, and you just kind of swirl that around. So it's going to peek out from underneath my elements. Now I take some double-sided foam adhesive, and I'm going to apply my clusters with that and that'll give it some dimension and allow that uh, that white string to peek out. Now I'm going to uh, take that backing off and apply these flowers 
these flowers are just so pretty. I did have them printed on clear sticker paper, but I wanted, because I knew that I wanted to um, apply them this way, I went ahead and put them on some cardstock and then cut them out. And that's the nice thing with these digitals that you can print them out as many times as you want and on the different types of paper. So now with this little um, piece, I'm applying glue on the three sides and leaving the top open because I want to make a pocket for my little tabs to go into. So I'm just applying the, string, the glue on, again on the three sides. And I may have to fiddle with that a little bit, especially that number two that was a little bit um, sticky. So I had to just work with it some. And I wanted to have my Project Gratitude label on here. And then I'll have some room for journaling inside there in that little space. So I'm going to date stamp. And now I'm going to outline or highlight my verses and then outline them. So I use the orange. I like these uh, watercolor dual brush markers. They can bleed through though. On the back side of this page you get a lot of that color but I will just use it to um, be a background for another page. So I'm taking these labels and I am writing the three things. Um, prayer, Thanksgiving, and then peace. These are kind of, for me, these were the three keys of this passage. And then I'm doing my journaling which says, Lord, when I come to you with gratitude, my perspective changes. I'm filled with peace. In fact, my heart is guarded by peace. Amen. So I wrote that down and then I underlined it. And I like to have that journaling in there because it reminds me of what the Lord taught me today. And there I've got my three labels. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments about this process or about this set, then leave them in the comment sections. I will have all my products linked in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much and God bless. Bye-bye.